Refreshing Stories. My name's Reen. Last month we moved into our new apartment. Or should I say, condominium. Actually, we don't own it. We're just looking after the place because my friend's been transferred overseas for a while. The apartment in the surrounding area is spotless and easy to live in. But there's some people I can't seem to get along with. One day, when I was leaving the supermarket... Why? Those groceries look heavy! Are you out shopping? Yes, today there's a sale at the supermarket, so I bought many things in bulk. Oh, bulk buying? Ah uh, yes, the thing poor people do. <laughs> but if good food is on sale, wouldn't you buy it too? Also today, one piece of salmon was 58 cents, so I thought I had to buy it. 58 cents? Is that really salmon? Are you sure it's not the meat of some unidentified sea life? Akemi, are you interested in strange sea life? If so, I recommend Ogre Grenader and Monkfish. They're super tasty. As if I'd be interested in such a thing. Forget what I said. But this here is simply salmon. It's fresh and full of healthy oils. Really? You said it's oily. They probably doused it in cooking oil to trick you poor people. Show me. Here you go. I don't think it looks like that, but what do you think? The color is disgusting. The oil looks strange too. Also, it stinks. Are you sure you should be eating that? Shouldn't it be dog food? Dog food? I don't think it smells that bad. How dare you? Are you questioning Akemi's opinion? That's not what I was trying to do. For me, I thought the salmon was fine. Akemi is different from you. She has an elevated palate. She's tasted all sorts of delicacies from around the world. So her opinions about food can't be wrong. So if she says that's dog food, then it's dog food. Um... <laughs> Forgive her, Keiko. Rain has only ever eaten cheap food. So she can't tell the difference, like a baby. A baby? She's also poor, so she gets by by eating dog food. Oh, now I get it. Akemi, you understand everyone because you're so kind. I'll do my best to better understand others, too. Reen, I'm so sorry Keiko was an understanding of you earlier. I'm always telling her to be nice to poor people. But are you really okay eating something like that? Are you sure you won't get sick? You should be apologizing for your own actions. I'm sure I'll be okay. Really? Make sure to have medicine handy, just in case. I can't help but pity you for having to eat this cheap food. Thank you for worrying about me, but I'll be fine. If there's ever a chance, I'll treat you some real food. Akemi, you're so generous. Reed, you should be happy. <laughs> Let's be on our way to the expensive supermarket. See you around, Reen. Bye, Reen. Try not to get food poisoning. I'll try. Bye. Akemi lives in the same complex as me. Her husband is an important person in a big company. The other ladies look up to her because of this. That's what makes her the boss of the rich ladies. Still, grr, my blood boils. Those ladies really had the nerve to make fun of my salmon. As if this looks like dog food. I'll douse you all in cooking oil and send you down the river into the mouth of a bear. At least, that's what I'd like to say. But all I can do is hold it in. Reen, you know what day tomorrow is, right? Um, tomorrow? Oh, it's the anniversary of the day I first rode a motorbike. How did you know? It's so nostalgic. Boom, boom. No, you're wrong. I don't care about such a thing. It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. How do you not know? Oh, I'm sorry. No one told me until now. Congratulations. My birthday's the most special day of the year. Every year, we all get together and eat delicious food. Oh, that sounds fun. I hope you have a great day. Oh, that reminds me of the good news. For this year's token poor person, you've been chosen. Congratulations. Wait, what's going on? What's this token poor person business? If I was getting to be on TV or something, I'd be happy, but... You should be happy. Last time I saw you, you were carrying that rotten fish. I couldn't stop hitting you from that day on. That fish wasn't rotten. My husband ate it and said it was delicious. Oh, your poor husband. He was probably secretly thinking, Damn, why do we have to be so poor? I don't want to eat rotten fish. 
I can understand how he must feel. <sighs> Please don't make up imaginary situations. We're happy with the way we live. I enjoy coming up with cost-saving recipes. Ew, that's such a poor person thing to do. So embarrassing. Just come to my place tomorrow. We'll feed you expensive crab meat. Um, okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. We'll be waiting for you. Make sure to come hungry so you can eat all the expensive food we have. It's amazing how you're inviting a token poor person. I can't wait to try the crab either. I'm truly so happy. Well, that's nice to hear, Keiko. That reminds me, could you store the crab for tomorrow at your place? I can't possibly let my fridge become stinky. Of course. I'll look after the crab with my life. Thank you. <laughs> she trusts me with her precious crab. Into the fridge you go. A few hours later. The crab disappeared. Where is it? How did this happen? What the? I know I put it in there. Ah, oh, Keiko, that crab was delicious. Thanks. Wait, you ate the crab? Yeah, wasn't it for my birthday? It's a day late, but I'll forgive you because you bought crab. It was delicious, Keiko. Idiot! I gave you salami for your birthday. I can't believe you ate the crab. What? That salami was my birthday present? I thought you got it as a consolation prize from a pachinko store. What are you going to do? I can't believe we ate all the crab. Why are you freaking out? Because that was Akemi's crab. Wait, that was Akemi's? Whatever shall we do? I don't know. We're screwed. You're the one that ate it. So go out and replace it. My allowance is $30 per month. There's no way I can buy crab with that. The only thing I could buy would be fake crab meat. Fake crab meat? Don't be stupid. There's absolutely no way she fought for that. Then, should we just tell her the truth? Do you know what would happen to me if I did that? <laughs> I'd be in trouble too! <laughs> if we don't do anything about this, we'll be shipped off to sea in a tiny crab fishing boat. Whatever shall we do? Can't we trick her somehow? Since it's come to this, we'll have to go with fake crab meat. You know that won't work. You're the one that said that! But that's our only option! That's the only way we're going to survive this! We have to find fake crab meat that looks real enough and fill the shells with it! Okay, I believe in you. Let's do this! Whoa! So secretly, they started executing their plan. Apparently, they stayed up all night. Their bond as a married couple was as strong as ever. But as for the plan, Akemi's birthday party. Dear God, please let us get through this. Please, please, please! Look, everyone! This is what a luxurious crab hot pot looks like! Wow, it looks amazing! The crab looks scrumptious! Doesn't it? If I weren't here, you would be able to eat such a thing! I'm gonna put up a picture of this on my social media! Akemi, you're amazing as ever! This crab is glowing! It looks so juicy and divine, even godlike! Godlike? I think you're going overboard, Keiko. Oh, I mean, I don't always get to eat crab. So I'm just really happy right now. <laughs> There's no way I can tell them that it's fake crab meat. Why are you acting weird today? That's true, though. For common folk, crab meat is a treat. However, I eat it once a month. That's amazing. The audacity. Especially you, Reen, because you're so poor. Leave this party with your plate squeaky clean, okay? Just like a poor person would. She really doesn't know how to dial it down. Thank you. Let's eat. What? Did she already figure it out? Yum! This is delicious! It's so soft and juicy! The flavors of the crab, they permeate in my mouth! Yes, it's so delicious! Oh, I'm so relieved she hasn't figured it out! What does everyone else think? Isn't it delicious? I know, I know. You can't put into words how delicious it is. Oh, I'm so happy. This is what we rich people get to enjoy. How is it, Reen? Can you taste how amazing it is? The taste of real crab? Um, I'm afraid this is fake crab meat. Is this some kind of prank? I can't be fooled this easily. <laughs> what? Fake crab meat? Yes, this is fake crab meat. Don't say such silly things. There's no way I'd serve fake crab meat. How could you ever mistake this for such a thing? 
This is a real deal. No way. I swear this isn't. The texture and sweetness isn't that of real crab. I promise you this. Why do you keep disagreeing with me? Are you that dim-witted? Oops. I didn't mean to make you upset. Everything that comes out of your mouth is wrong. How dare you accuse me of buying fake crab meat? You all should have something to say to her, too. Keiko, why do you look like that? Er, uh, it's nothing. What's the matter with you? Is there something you want to say? You're not going to side with her and say this is fake cheap crab meat, too, are you? Well, that's the thing. It really is fake crab meat. My husband accidentally ate all your crab. We didn't know what to do, so... What? This is fake crab meat? Yes, we fill the crab shells with it. That means Zarine is right? Y yes. This is absolutely unbelievable. How can you embarrass me like this? I'm so, so, so sorry. You think I'll forgive you just like that? This has gone too far. You're nothing to me now. You and your husband both. I have no sympathy for what happens to you two. No, please. Please forgive me, Akemi. I've done so much for you. Stop talking to me! Leave, you piece of garbage! Oh. Keiko! Reen, I'm so sorry. You had to eat that disgusting thing. Let's turn over. I'll order some expensive sushi. Get over yourself. What? I said get over yourself. Ah! What's wrong with you? Just because you're embarrassed, that doesn't mean you can abandon your friends like that. Why would I even want to spend my time with someone like that? What? I'm doing my part by letting you poor people eat delicious food. Why can't you just accept my generosity? What you're doing isn't out of generosity. Everything about you is fake. What did you say? I'm undeniably the real deal. That fake crab meat has nothing to do with me. It doesn't matter what you say. Everyone already knows you're a fraud. What? Stop looking at me like that! I said stop it! Stop it! Turns out that Akemi was secretly using her husband's money behind his back. As a result, she had gotten herself into a lot of debt. She faked all of her luxurious looking social media posts. What she was really eating at home were instant noodles. She constantly made fun of poor people, but in truth she was talking about herself. As for the rich ladies, after they lost their boss, they supposedly broke up. Reen, would you be so kind as to teach us how to cook well? Pardon? We were all impressed by your ability to tell good and bad food apart. We'd like you to be our new leader. What? Just like that, the rich ladies reunited under my wing. With them, I held weekly cooking lessons. But these ladies can't tell the difference between meat sausages and fish sausages. So we haven't been able to start cooking actual dishes yet. But I still believe they have potential. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And if you have time, please check out our other videos as well. Alright then, see you next time. Bye!